everyone. It's Tanya from Vegan in Michigan. And um, uh, not a very fun video today. I'm at a bit Joel, it's my first one. Uh, I'm downtown Eastern Market, downtown Detroit. And we're saying goodbye to the animals. Um, uh, you can see we have a pretty good turnout here. Natasha and Luca from the Vegan Couple are here with us. And they've been very integral uh, in getting this many people to turn out today at four o'clock in the morning um, to say goodbye to the animals and to try to raise awareness for this absolutely senseless and completely unnecessary thing that we do to these sentient creatures, you know? I was looking at them and these these babies, they look like dogs, you know? There's no difference. There's no difference in them. They want love and... I'm so thankful that I've gone vegan because I realized like, this is completely senseless. There's no reason that we need to do this. There's no reason right now. People are thriving. There's millions of vegans across the world that can prove that you can save money, be healthy, be happy. And it's easy and none of this has to happen, you know? This is our second truck that we've seen come through here and um, it's filled and these animals are heaving and shitting on themselves and looking up at you like dogs do and it's complete it's just completely unnecessary and it's really um, it's really sad and it's really unnecessary and you know next time you uh, want to call somebody an angry vegan you know, maybe just take a look at maybe why we're angry because we have a really good reason to be. Once your eyes open up and once you realize the senselessness of this kind of thing, you know, it's, I'm angry, absolutely. <laughs> Proud of it. So let's go pay our respects to these animals. There's no, there's no reason for this whatsoever. Why do you think they bring the trucks in here at 4 a.m.? They bring them in here so people can't see and that's why we're here right now. So that people can see this and see that there's an easy, a really easy way to avoid this kind of thing. So, this is right out of a horror movie. Here's the truck that we were just at. And up here, that's a conveyor belt. And in a couple of hours, they're gonna, they're gonna put a truck underneath it. And the carcasses of all the animals that just came through will be dumped into a truck and taken away. Senseless. It's like out of a horror movie. It's literally out of a horror movie. This whole place is. So how long these animals were on this truck from South Dakota to Detroit? No food and water, nothing. Okay, this is next level horror. We just came around the side of the building and they're lifting up, I guess.
Um, I wasn't really sure what to expect. This was my first time bearing witness to see the animals before um, they're sent to slaughter. Um, the first thing I noticed was probably the smell and just hearing like the hoofbeats and um, you know they're all really trying to stay as far back into the truck as possible and that was probably one of the hard parts to watch was seeing how you know and then there was at one point we saw that there was actually a they have a goat that they're using to lure the sheep and lambs out of the slaughter truck in into their death essentially um, and that was really really disturbing to watch because you could see the goat was just kind of looking around like dead in its eyes you know it didn't really know what what to do it seemed like and then as soon as the sheep saw that the goat was there it was like it gave them an okay you know they went right they said okay we trust you and they went right up the stairs you know and now we're watching carcasses come out of a conveyor belt so we know what happened yeah um, and there was like workers crawling on their hands and knees trying to you know scare them out the sheep and everything and I don't know just like looking in their eyes and them trying to jump over each other it's it's just disgusting it's crazy they were holding their foot like in the crack of the truck you know like their foot their whole leg could have just torn off but that was how badly they didn't want to go up those steps so and at a couple of different times it seemed like they were getting pretty handsy with a couple of the animals but when they saw that our cameras were right there in their face they, they stopped doing that and that's I think why they brought the goat out but it makes you wonder what happens when we're not here Right, and I think it, it really always take them that long to get them off. Like I don't know. I think the more that it's noted to and documented and showed, the more people are, will become aware of it. Because I feel like part of the problem is it's behind closed doors and people don't see it. It's early in the morning. It's it dark out. Essentially, and, the middle of the night. If there were right. people, Detroit is a very walking-friendly city, especially this area, and. People would be just irate if this was starting right now at you know six o'clock in the morning when the sun's out. People would be people would be pissed. They, they wouldn't stand for it. And that's why they do it when it's dark outside. Yeah, it's just a shame that if it were a dog or a cat in there or some type of other animal that people look at differently, yeah, you can't it would those it wouldn't be tolerated. Kind of it is. All you can see is their eyes and they're scared. Yeah. So we were just saying that we're going to give the workers a peace sign as we walk out because it's no hate to the individual. We too once ate animal products and we could very well have been in their position once. So this is a love-based movement and no hate to the workers. Straight out of a horror movie. <laughs>